consecutive following seventh meeting will be um, held in our uh, country and we continue with our work for that. And during the talks we held today, we have come to terms that hopefully and most probably this meeting will take place in September in Pakistan. And the fraternity, close relations and friendship in between both of our countries will be further strengthened and we are ready for that. In the field of defense industry with Pakistan, Pakistan, we have had a concrete cooperation projects which make us very happy. Within the framework of a million project, we have had the manufacturing of jointly manufactured Corvettes, two in Pakistan and two in our country were built. And in line with the set agenda, the construction of these ships are taken taking place. From 2023, August on, we will be constructing these um, ships, building these ships mutually. And we have uh, also grown our mutual trade volume, and it has exceeded the figure of $1 billion for the first time after 2010. And our aim is to achieve a figure of $5 billion. In Islamabad, we also signed the strategic and economic framework agreement from trade to defense industry. We have many good relations for our close cooperation, and this agreement lays the ground of that. Tourism, education, logistics, civil aviation, communication, and ICT-like services industries are the areas we're working to further improve our relations. Mr. Sharif also had talks with the members of our business world and these uh, talks of uh, these negotiations will contribute I believe to our mutual investments as Turkey the driving uh, engine of our economic cooperation are our business people and investors and we encourage our business people and investors to invest more in Pakistan for the structuring of FETO in Pakistan the measures uh, taken uh, deserve a special thanks in our eyes. And I would like to thank to the, Pakistan, the authorities of Pakistan for their great support. The fallen soldiers in the terror attacks that took place in Pakistan. I uh, remember them with gratitude and pray for the mercy of God on their souls, and I wish a quick recovery on all those wounded. We support Pakistan in uh, their efforts against all uh, types of terror. The uh, fight Pakistan has uh, against uh, terrorism, I uh, definitely believe, will triumph. To ensure stable, uh, lasting stability in Af Afghanistan and to prevent irregular uh, migration, Pakistan has a critical uh, position. The impacts of the humanitarian uh, crisis in Afghanistan was another issue uh, about which we have been uh, jointly exerting efforts. Uh, to Afghanistan, we have uh, uh, supplied uh, uh, more than uh, uh, four tons of uh, humanitarian uh, goods and food, and we sent many uh, trains to the region, and we continue cooperating with Afghanistan in this regard. Another issue about the region is the Kashmir issue, and in line with the legitimate expectations of our ca uh, brothers and sisters from Kashmir, uh, we support uh, the solution of the problem in line with the UN resolutions. As I conclude my remarks. I hope that our uh, talks uh, will be auspicious, uh, and I would like to thank uh, to my dear brother, Mr. Sharif, and his delegation uh, for their visit. And in the person of uh, Mr. Prime Minister, I would like to send my deepest greetings to my Pakistani brothers and sisters from here. Thank you. Bismillah rahman rahim Your Excellency President, Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, Honorable Ministers, 
distinguished members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. I would like to thank my dear brother, President Tayyip Erdogan of the Republic of Turkey for, for the very warm welcome and gracious hospitality extended to me and my delegation. Coming back to Turkey is like coming to our own second home. <clears throat> I bring with me the most cordial greetings of the people of Pakistan for our brothers and sisters in Turkey. The relationship between Pakistan and Turkey is embedded in common cultural, religious, and spiritual heritage, transcending boundaries of time, geography, and politics. We look at these relations as a sacred trust that has been passed on to us by our forefathers and which, are, and which we are committed to hand over to our succeeding generations. This year, our two countries are celebrating in a befitting manner the 75th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations. Under my dear brother, President Erdogan's dynamic and visionary leadership, our bilateral relations have scaled to newer heights. I deeply appreciate the sincere heart-to-heart -heart and productive discussion that we have just had this afternoon. As you are aware, our countries are also engaged in comprehensive discussions at high-level strategic cooperation meetings, which have become instrumental in fully exploring and building upon our shared interest. I'm very happy to uh, announce that my brother, President Tayyip Erdogan, has indicated to hold next session of high-level meeting in Islamabad in the month of September. I'm very grateful, Mr. President, to give us this opportunity to play host to you and to your team members. And we look forward to these very productive meetings. And the people of Pakistan will accord a very warm welcome to you, inshallah. Consequently, we are looking forward to this. Well, we have just dealt with that. A strong business delegation is also visiting Pakistan uh, next June, as has been very kindly indicated by President Tayyip Erdogan, and our team will make uh, proper preparations to hold meetings over there so that we're able to make uh, very solid and uh, productive results. Brother President, there are a number of sectors such as e-commerce, tourism, education, infrastructure development, where Turkey has made exponential progress. And as we discussed this evening, that in the field of hydropower generation and renewable energy, we would be very happy to get uh, support from Turkey in terms of investments. Our Turkish brothers will make investments, make profits, and we will get uh, cheap energy, which will be a very win-win situation. <clears throat> a few days ago, on 20th of May, along with our brother, Turkish Defense Minister, Lucy Akar, I participated in the launching ceremony of PNS Bada, Miljam Kovat, another shining example of our wonderful collaboration between our defense industries. We look forward to have further cooperation in attack helicopters and uh, other areas of mutual cooperation. Pakistan and Turkey are natural partners. Many of our challenges are the same as are 
our opportunities. Our two nations have stood by each other in times of need and on issues of core interest. In particular, the people of Pakistan deeply appreciate Your Excellency's steadfast support on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. Turkey's unflinching support provides great strength to the valiant Kashmiri people who have been subjected to the worst kinds of human rights violation for over seven decades. I apprised His Excellency Brother President Tayyip Erdogan of the threat that Indian action posed to regional peace and stability, including its attempts to change the demographic composition of the occupied territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan will not abandon its quest for peace, but we are convinced that durable peace in South Asia can only be achieved if the long-standing Jammu and Kashmir dispute is resolved in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions and the wishes of the Kashmiri people. For its part, Pakistan has always strongly supported the cause of our Turkish Cypriot brethren, and we will continue to support their legitimate rights and aspirations. Pakistan also stands with Turkey in its fight against terrorism, including the threats posed by FETO and PKK. Enemies of Turkey are enemies of Pakistan. Distinguished members of the press, our partnership is a force for perpetual. We have worked together for decades to promote the shared objectives of a peaceful and stable Afghanistan. Our two countries host the largest refugee population in the world. We are doing so almost exclusively from our own scared resources. Before I end, Mr. President, let me say something that is very close to our hearts. The emotional bond between our two countries goes beyond conventional interstate relations and diplomatic niceties. It is a bond that is rooted in history, as we have earlier said a few minutes ago, in culture and in the fabric of our two societies. It is a bond that resides deep in our hearts and sits there and will sit there forever. This bond, this unbreakable bond, is unique in that it connects us at all levels and in all layers. Our states, our governments, our institutions, our armed forces, and above all, our people. There are very few examples in today's world of two nations being so closely intertwined and interlinked and, of course, interwoven at so many levels for so many genuine and heartwarming reasons. Today, when I stand here or sit here in front of you with my dear brother, President Tayyip Erdogan, I am overwhelmed with emotion at the love that I've received here, my colleagues, and at the love that every Turkish citizen receives from every Pakistani, and vice versa. And for this, I am truly grateful to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May he shower his blessings upon all of us. Ameen. Brother President, I thank you once again for inviting us and for the very warm welcome accorded to us at every level of our meeting and receptions since yesterday afternoon. We look forward to welcoming you, Your Excellency, in Pakistan in the month of September, inshallah, and it will give us uh, another opportunity to renew our 
brotherhood or fraternal relations and further strengthen them. We hope you will have time to visit Islamabad, Lahore, Karachi, Bashar and Quetta. Pakistan, Turkish friendship, Zindabad, Pak Dosti Zindabad. Thank you very much.